Spears Computer World here with an August edition of what's new with the Zar Designer Pro X. And so, one way to show you is to go to the Zar website to kind of show you some of the features that's been updated and where you can kind of find those new features. So, I'm going to go here. And this is part of the Zara Pro X 365 guarantee, which means that you will get updates throughout the year, new features as well. So I'll scroll down. So as of March 2007, the implementation of full width slideshows uh, has been introduced. Uh, some other web improvements that you can see here. Let's see uh, photo and graphic design updated this is um, now you now as you drag the handles to adjust the image a faint copy of the full uh, crop, uncropped image is behind it photo filter presets which is one of my favorites uh, introduced in 20 November 2016 they added 50 new photo filters so for those of you who like to take your time with your edits um, and then like to share and show them off on Instagram uh, you have some presets and filters there March 2017 they added 40 new filters another 40 filters and then July 2017 which is closer to the August we have 10 new photo filter overlays with camera effects it says such as burn and flare that is now 125 filters in total and I'll show you how to access some of those things um, other enhancements or text enhancements some of the things to do here that was uh, new is ability to align text vertically um, you can kind of read here I'm just kind of showing you some of the things I'm not going to go over everything in the uh, August edition update but just kind of want to show you the direction that Zara is going um, if you're into business themes um, all print business things now included so this has been added to the online online catalog and I'll show you that they're sold at fifteen dollars each um, a new single uh, page web story template five new presentation things have been shown have been updated or introduced new smart shapes if you're into that uh, one thing I like import export improve word import and export I have tried that before so maybe in a separate video I'll kind of show that off and let's get down to it what most of you would probably want to come here uh, for is to see what the online content uh, catalog is all about I'll kind of show you in other videos some of these features some of the things you can do as far as uh, background removals anything you want to see drop them in the comments section below and I'll make a video I do have one video coming up that I will be doing um, and that video is going to be uh, simply on how to create a website so that's what I'm gonna do so to get to the to the catalog what you have to do is click on any one of these folders uh, so I'm gonna click on websites and then we're gonna do more online what this will do is take you to the content uh, catalog you have to have an internet connection Anything that you download from the catalog can be accessed offline in case you don't have any internet access. So you have your stock photos, you'll be able to search. So anything you want to uh, search in uh, stock photos and it's powered by Pixabay. So you'll be able to go there and get those under first look. This is where you can get introduction, um, and I'll have to take out praying. Be sure to do that, or it won't show anything. And this is where you can get different templates of different kinds, different components. If you're into uh, print web components, audio, video, e-commerce for backgrounds. Oh, for e-commerce, excuse me, e-commerce. Uh, if you want to be able to add carts, if you have an Equit uh, account, or if you're with Amazon Associates, um, amongst other things. The thing I wanted to show off in this video is something that's new is resumes. 
couple business themes. You have different categories here. So if you're into business services with accounting, you have um, you know business cards there. Next, I'll show you how to um, bring in a photo and then apply a filter to it. So let's get started on the photo filter. So in the online content catalog, I went to stock photos and just typed in nature. So I'm going to just import this picture of a flower. You'll get these about the public domain or the CCO license. So they're free to use them for any purpose, royalty free. So just hit the button. I'm going to import that in. I'm going to import the original image. I'm going to drag it over. Then I'm going to right click here. I'm going to say photo filter. Apply filter. It'll take you to the online catalog. You'll be able to uh, import various types of filters they have. There are 125 to choose from. So you pick your, um, your taste and what you want to use. I'm just going to kind of go by them fast. So you can kind of see what you have there. So I'm going to apply um, the check filter. And these are your presets. Photo presets. So that preset is set. Then I want to go back and apply another filter. Because we have these filters as well. And you have effects. So it's kind of broken down in categories for each type so all your filters are here but if you really want to get into you know some of the breakdown you can go there so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna look at overlays so you can overlay with blur gradients patterns textures overlays what I'm going to do is just apply the blur feature. So I want something that's like a circular blur, something that will kind of bring out the main deal. So as you can see here, there is a blur. I'm going to undo. There's still a blur because of the natural, the picture itself. But then it's a slight blur uh, filter applied to it uh, because of that. So let's... Uh, Let's get another picture in there to kind of show that effect. Let's go to stock of fortress. Let's see, man. Let's see what we can find with that. So let's go with. No, we'll go with this guy. So we'll let that download. Now that I have it downloaded, I'm going to import original image. I'm going to do my photo filter, apply filter. I'm going to go back to overlays, go back to blurs. I'm going to do a circular blur. And I don't notice much of anything that seemed to happen here. Maybe on pictures that are more of a design where, you know, you have the, I mean, the lighting plays a huge part in that. So. Even though that failed, you do have that capability. For the sake of this video, I want to be able to uh, show you that it can do it. Let's see. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to apply that a filter. I'm going to go with blur and I'm going to do full. Let's just do full. And so it did blur it. Uh, I'll undo. You can see that it's blur, no blur, blur. And so there you have it. So this is Spears Computer World with an August edition of What's New in Zara Designer Pro X. But before we leave, I just want to show you a couple of things that Zara has going on. If you're into the Designer Pro X 365, there is a markdown um, to 100. $91. I'll have an affiliate link in the description and you'll be able to purchase uh, on the description from this video. I get commission from that. I'll also have my, my next video, the Web Designer 365 Premium, which is pretty much a subset of uh, Designer Pro. In other words, you're able to design websites, do a couple of cool things, whereas Designer Pro X is 
the all-in-one uh, software flagship software because it has you know the photo and graphic designer in it um, it's the jack of all trades so it's every one of Zara's uh, software packages in one that's why it's the designer pro x uh, software but i'll have for those of you who are using the who are not using designer pro x 365 but you want more info on this i'll do a what's new edition for the web designer 365 premium so this is spears computer world signing out be sure to leave in the description or i mean the comments excuse me uh, the type of video you want me to show so the next video that will be coming up will be how to create a website using designer pro x 365